The Boys and the Frogs A company of idle boys used to assemble on the margin of a lake inhabited by a great number of frogs and divert themselves by throwing volleys of stones into the water to the great annoyance and danger of the poor terrified frogs who were thus pelted to death as soon as any of them put up their heads. At length, one of the boldest of the frogs ventured, on behalf of the whole community, to croak out their complaints. Ah, my boys, said he, why will you learn so soon the cruel practices of your race? Consider, I beseech you, that though this may be sport to you, it is death to us. Application This fable shows the propensity of unguided youth to do evil and points out the need of inculcating benignity of conduct upon their minds and giving them a direction towards a manly and generous humanity, which in manhood will show itself in actions and habits that cannot fail to do honour to themselves and qualify them for any office in the service of their country. The contrary of all this will be found to predominate in society when youth are suffered to go on with impunity in indulging their wicked inclinations for cruelty by which their minds are hardened and debased. This hard-heartedness in boys will grow into brutality and tyranny in man and that cruelty which was at first inflicted upon poor dumb animals will soon show itself upon their fellows. The great man of this caste will tyrannise over those below him. These again will show the same hateful disposition to their dependents, and so downwards to the lowest, who, guided only by ignorance, will give vent to their natural baseness by goading and distressing the poor animals which are wretchedly toiling in their service.